Well, you figured that out well. You remember that this is the way that we make sulfonates. And again, we didn't go through the mechanism for that. We just memorized that this is the way to make sulfonates. What was the purpose of making this into a sulfonate? Why couldn't we just have the cyanide attack the alcohol? Because we needed a good leaving group. Yeah, we needed a good leaving group here. And this is one of our good ways to make an alcohol. So the purpose of this reaction is to make alcohols into better leaving groups. Alcohols are not initially good leaving groups. You already remember that another way to make an alcohol a good leaving group is an acid. But this is an alternative way to make the alcohol a good leaving group. And then we can do our SN2 reaction. It's good that you remember that cyanide is a nucleophile here. What, what cell would it be in in the table? That's right. You figured that out. That's good. All right. And in this case, we didn't have to worry about wedges and dashes because this was not forming a stereocenter and it didn't have any cis-trans relationships. However, you certainly might get tested on that. So let's say with deuterium in this class? No. Your instructor doesn't use yeah. deuterium. Huh? Yeah. All right, that's unusual, but I won't use that if your instructor doesn't use it. Well, what would be the product here of cyanide attacking this compound? Let's draw what that product would be. So you're asking how to show the stereochemistry. Well, usually we use that, do that using wedges and dashes. In this case, it does matter whether we draw the cyanide on a wedge or a dash, because that will determine whether it's cis or trans to this substituent down here. So here we do have to use wedges and dashes. In this case, we can just put this on a dash because we're inverting the stereochemistry here, which was originally a wedge. Well, that's just one more mechanism that's good to know how to make sulfonates, and then you can use those as leaving groups.